HydroCAD is built on an AutoCAD OEM engine. That means that it's developed, keeping in mind hydraulic designer needs, but you still will be able to use for uh, your architectural drawings, your mechanical drawings, or even to open and import 3D files and do some small 3D modeling with the 3D tools menu. We start with the title block. HydroCAD comes with preset title block templates. It will be possible for you to customize them or reuse what you already have in the company. In CAD we introduced the search for symbols functionality, allowing a user just to type in a text and Hydro will filter between all the folders that include symbols matching the search criteria. I just did a search for reservoir, drag and drop the symbol in the drawing. Now I search for pump percent single. Again, once I find the symbol, drag and drop in the drawing. You will still find the complete folder structure already present in HydroCAD 900 and earlier versions. If you create part of diagrams that you want to reuse in different drawings, we made a big change in the way we manage subsystem from CAD 900. We added a separate search tab organized into folders and subfolders where the library manager will be able to arrange and store subsystems to be used across different HydroCAD users. To create a subsystem, select a folder, right click Add New, select the geometry, press Enter, select the subsystem type and click OK. The new subsystem will be added to the library. We have two ways to insert a subsystem. First, first one is a frequently used diagram. Check Explore the subsystem options. All items will come independent in the drawing. Second one has a super component. If you uncheck Explore the subsystem option, the subsystem will be treated as a component with child items. Since we treat subsystems like components, it is possible to do a search in the library like we did up to HydroCAD 900 only for components. Just type in the model code or any other search criteria and HydroCAD will display available subsystems. Drag and drop the symbol in the drawing to use it as a super component. The subsystem will show its model properties and if we edit in place subsystem, we notice that it is made out of its child items. We can make connection lines between subsystems. Search for component tab is now merged with library and search for symbols. With the possibility to search in corporate database or in our online library freedpowertools.com. If we do a search by 4WE6J Bosch Rexot valves, we get a list of available model families and their corresponding symbols. With right click on the model family, we get a list of available model codes. Just drag and drop the symbol in the drawing. Same kind of search can be done on the corporate database. Like a CV 8-20, 
listing available Hydroforce check valve. If you are not familiar with model codes, just select the component type, like uh, check valve screwing cartridge. You can specify a flow rate range and click search. HydroCAD will list all available model families. Further filter filtering is also possible by each property, like in this case only 30 and 35 liter per minute. If you select a model family, you will be able to list all available model codes for that model family. To insert, select a row, drag and drop a symbol in the drawing. To create connection lines with the auto connect option, select type of connection, pressure, click on start point and end point. Press enter to repeat last used command. If you turn auto connect off, you can keep pressing left mouse click every time you want a connection line to bend. Press enter to end the line. If you start a new line from an existing open one, they will be merged automatically. To add a jumping reference, run a jumping reference command, select an open line, specify name of reference, destination sheet and grid square, and the same you do on the destination reference. To move between jumping references, right mouse click and select find jumping reference. Each component is linked to symbols and can be linked to technical documentation. It is very easy to open datasheet directly from the drawing environment. Datasheet can be a PDF file or other file format like doc, excel, even web pages. Collect technical documentation from a diagram is a matter of few clicks and allows a user to extract all datasheet and save them to a project folder. Create technical documentation for systems or machines will be extremely easy and time saving. HydroCAD can be programmed to display properties linked to components. In this case, we display pilot ratio and pressure settings. By manually changing those values, displayed properties will change accordingly and they will match properties linked to components in the library. Creating part list or port list from a diagram is very easy. To create a port list, we run port command, select the diagram, port list is automatically generated, it can be placed in the drawing or exported to Excel. Similar behavior for part list, which can include accessories, system accessories, hoses, child items, and you can define several part list formats. Part list can be exported to Excel or can be placed in the drawing. Each solenoid valve in the diagram can be linked to functions by running solenoid info command. Edit solenoid interface will list available functions to the right. Each function can be linked to solenoids. A user can add more function. A single solenoid valve can be linked to more functions. Like this case where the normally open valve 
is linked to four different functions. HydroCAD will be able to create a sonar actuation chart. The user can easily export to Excel or insert in the drawing.